Hey, good evening and welcome back, everybody. This is the godfather of web television, Dennis Aloya, coming to you from beautiful downtown Smyrna, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta, from the studios of Chisel Multimedia with my show this month, Keeping It Real. And we have got a great show planned, as we always have. Very interesting uh, and dynamic personality that I'll be bringing up here in a very short time. But for a moment, I want to revisit last month's uh, guest and show and uh, there, there was a happening uh, that I could not believe after the show. For those of you that may have tuned in, my good friend Hal Burke was my guest. He had done a lot of research about the uh, USS the Sullivans and the five brothers that were lost in World War II uh, together on the same ship, the USS Juno. Uh, the Sullivan brothers, uh, there was a ship named after them after that tragedy in World War II called, ironically, the USS the Sullivans, which my friend Hal Burke served on. We did that show about four weeks ago, uh, and about a week and a half later, there was a story in the New York Times that uh, the fella that used to be with Bill Gates in starting Microsoft Company, a little company you may have heard of named Paul Allen, he has a research ship, and he goes around the world finding uh, historic ships. Well, lo and behold, on St. Patrick's Day, March the 17th, about a week or a week and a half after the show we did about the Sullivans, he in fact found the USS Juno sunk in the Solomon Sea. And it was ironic that the boys were uh, Irish through and through, and they found that ship after 76 years at the bottom of the ocean, two miles deep. Uh, they found it on St. Patrick's Day. I, uh, I really got chills uh, uh, thinking about that and how ironic that was and uh, what karma that was. And, uh, I guess how God made that happen at the perfect time. So uh, when you get time, uh, the uh, video will be available uh, in the very near future. We'll let you know when and, and how you may be able to purchase that video. It's a terrific story. And it was one of the best interviews I think I've ever done. And uh, we got a lot of good feedback about it. But I just wanted to make that little note about the, uh, uh, the USS Juno being found and the final resting place of the, Su the Sullivan brothers being found. Anyway, uh, as I mentioned, I've got a very dynamic uh, guest coming up here shortly after this uh, break that we're going to take in about 10 seconds. And she is a terrific singer, and I think you're really going to enjoy her. And we have a video to go along with her uh, appearance tonight. So stand by. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this short commercial. Please donate to the Hands and Feet Foundation West Side today. This ministry is a 501c3 non-for-profit organization. They feed people everyday hot meals. They give away clothes and food, and they also offer a sanctuary and prayer. Donate to the Hands and Feet Foundation on the West Side, Jacksonville, Florida, right there on 103rd Street. God bless you. Tell them American Hearts Radio sent you. We're on a mission for God. Please visit Hands and Feet West Side, www.facebook.com backslash handsandfeet.org or give them a call at 904-465-5083. 904-465-5083. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for rejoining our show tonight. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce a young lady that I first saw on my son's uh, web television show, Mr. Entertainer, out of Jacksonville, Florida, with Mike Aloya. Uh, this was his guest one evening. Her name is Michelle Lee. And uh, Michelle, hey, welcome everyone. to my show, Keeping hey. It Real. Thank you, Thank dear, you for, for coming down. Thank you for having me. I'm tickled to be she here. She drove all the way from Asheville, North Carolina, this afternoon I to be did. here. What and a drive it was, yeah. too. Wow, <laughs> Atlanta traffic. Yeah, wasn't that Ooh. a nice uh, a that, thing to experience? Yeah, that was that was a little bit of a shock. <laughs> I only thought Patton Avenue was bad, and I asked really? why I will not gripe about Patton Avenue again. <laughs> so. No, Atlanta is right up there with Chicago, New York, and L.A. when it comes to traffic. It's, it's something else. No doubt. <laughs> Well, Michelle has got a fabulous voice. She is a singer and has been a singer since age. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I was. Seven I was, uh, Oh, gosh. Tiny. I, I tell the story. I was, uh, I was standing between the car seats in uh, my aunt's Fiat Spider mm -hmm. going down the road singing Johnny Paycheck's friend, don't take her. She's all I've got. <laughs> but I misunderstood the words. I thought he was saying Fred. Fred. So I was singing, Fred, don't take her, she's all I got. <laughs> so whoever Fred was, he made out with the girl. <laughs> so Fred got famous just 
<laughs> out of default, right? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't even think I could even pronounce my words <laughs> very well then. <laughs> but, but you had the voice right. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. you got a great voice. <laughs> Now, uh, do you write songs as well as I, perform? I do, I do. I, I do um, all of my all of my originals. I've either written solely or co-written, uh, mostly with Charlie Kelly out of Nashville. Uh, some I've written with uh, a gentleman named D.B. Hackett and Brian Keith. Uh, but those are my three three writers I, I've written with. Um, I have to give a, a special shout out to Corey Barker, who wrote co-wrote with me uh, my Triple J song. In my video, I got to have Artemis Pyle as my leading man. Um, and Artemis Pyle is he is the drummer for Leonard Skinner. Right. He was he was the you know the second drummer actually, but I think probably the one with the most longevity. Right. With uh, with Leonard Skinner, and um, he was my leading man, and he defended me from the bad guy in the video. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Well, yeah. we're 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 very uh, grateful to Leonard Skinner, uh, uh, Johnny Van Zant, especially, and his brother. Uh, for endorsing our network and uh, giving us a shout out here and there. We really appreciate it. And uh, is, can, can I segue into that? Yes, with absolutely. The, I, I'm extremely honored to be a part of the, uh, the Jimmy Van Zant Memorial and uh, Celebration of Life coming up on April 7th. Um, Joey Nichols has headed that up and I'm getting to perform with some amazing talent down there. He called me up and asked me if I would be a part of it. and. Of course, I jumped at the chance. Right. I mean, that was just such an honor. So uh, we're uh, we're celebrating his life, but we're also promoting. He he uh, he died of cancer. Right. And he shouldn't have died of cancer. I mean, it was one of those things. You know, that um, there there could have been preventative measures taken. Mm -hmm. But uh, what what the memorial and the celebration of life is set up to do is to gather funds for. You know, say like uh, you've had your treatment, but uh, guess what? I've I've had all my cancer treatment, but now I can't pay for my power bill, or now I can't afford to go get groceries, right. or something like that. Right. Joey Nichols Foundation takes into consideration that, and they they will go and pick up the slack, I guess, where everything else, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, after everything else is done, they're like, okay, some of the stuff that people might not think about, yeah, the little needing, things. Yeah. yeah, the little things. Uh, they uh, they take care of it, so it's it's that's really great. a godsend, and it's a great organization. I'm very very proud to have been asked to be a part of now it. Now that's going to be in Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, uh, do you have a date the celebration. On that? It's a it's during the day. Uh, mm -hmm. You can look it up. I go. You can go on my website and see everything about it. You can also visit Mr. Uh, Joey Nichols' Facebook page. He's got everything up there. Uh, just Google Jimmy Van Zant Memorial and uh, Celebration of Life. It's going to be at the Riverside Park Memorial. Okay. Um, and there, uh, Carol Bristow is going to be singing with us, uh, some of the others. I don't want to leave anybody out, and I know I'm going to. Um, Monica Deadman, uh, let's see, who else? Uh, Cindy Davenport, uh, BJ. Um, I'm, I know I'm leaving somebody and out, and I'm way, so very Ameri sorry. By the way, American Arts Radio and TV will be doing a live remote from there, I believe. Oh. That, well, that's going to be awesome. I yeah. didn't realize that. That's yeah. great. My son Mike's yeah. heavily involved with uh, that that particular organization. I know. I'm telling you, it's going to be so awesome. And yeah. we had, we had a, a new one that, that recently joined in with us, Miss Lisa. I'm not sure what her last name is, but she's going to be joining us. Mm -hmm. um, Charlie, um, Charlie, out of uh, I'm like a kindergartner. <laughs> I don't know anybody's last name. I just know him as their first name. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Um, D Rock, D Rock's going to be down yeah, there. Uh, Dizzy Rock, Rock, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the the Dreadneck, Mr. Yeah, Dreadneck, Mr. Yeah. Dreadneck. Okay. <laughs> well, speaking of um, good causes, uh, we had a chance to visit before the show. Had an awesome dinner in a lovely Italian restaurant, yeah, and um, in in visiting, uh, you had mentioned to me that um, you know you've got a brother. Uh, that uh, is in need of a kidney transplant. I do, I do. We're uh, we're maybe we're we can in the get process the word out that. there. You know, um, I'm, diabetes. The cause for diabetes is a cause very, very near and dear to me because my little brother. You know, he's had diabetes since he was six. So yeah. uh, he needs a kidney. He needs a kidney. So uh, you know, we're out there plugging away, trying to you know, trying to get everything, out, all the ducks in a row, yeah. for uh, what we need to do to get him his kidney. So so he can continue on. Uh, another awesome musician. Mm -hmm. You know, he's. Um, I've never seen him pl um, not be able to play something. I've asked him to. We used to play around town all the time. And, and what's his uh, first name? Mark. 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 Roberts, and he's yeah. thirty. He's thirty. Thirty six. Thirty six. Yeah. You make me tell how old my little oh, brother is oh, and then okay. I have well, to say my little brother. Oh, so. oh my gosh. 
<laughs> no, I, I am diabetic too, type 2 so far. I don't need insulin mm. shots, but that may be down the line. It's, uh, it's a hard thing to, uh, to have to deal with, but, you know, it, if you do the right thing and eat properly, which I don't, you could probably control it. But well, some, it's, it's awfully but, hard to do that. But childhood so. diabetes is much more uh, severe. It really is if you get it when you're very young. Uh, but, you know, maybe some viewers out there know somebody that's willing to get tested and see if they're a match. And, uh, you know, yeah. we have a worldwide audience, and, you know, that, we'd sure like to hear from awesome. you. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I'd, I'd give him both of mine if I could. I, yeah. I, I would. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know how in the world I would ever repay somebody if they could, they could help my brother. But mm -hmm. we'd find a way. Yeah. We'd find a way. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Don't make me get all no, no, no. Tammy we're Faye keep, on here we're, now. We're, we're going to keep this fun and you know <laughs> inspirational at the same time. But um, boy, what's uh, you've got? You had a video that I saw, and that's what really attracted me to your talent was the song that you did called "Devil Music." Devil Music. Yeah, it sounds and, worse than it is. Yeah. I promise you. And <laughs> it was a terrific video. And I'm not a video kind of person, but it was really good. And the song was awesome. And She's got an awesome voice, and I'm going to ask you to do a few lines of a particularly favorite song okay. of mine here pretty soon. But um, that video, it's, it really intrigued me. Uh, and now you have a brand new one that you've just recorded, right? I do, right? and I just checked the numbers before we went on. And when I checked it before I turned my phone off, we're at 120,023 views. Wow. Blows me away. And Thank how you long guys. has that video been out? It's been out since December 27th. Wow. So that's a good amount of views in three months' time. Yeah. Well, I'll so. tell you what, folks, if you stand by and don't leave the station for the next 25 or so minutes, we're going to play that video for you. Okay. Now, uh, as videos go, it's a rather long video. It's about six minutes, am mm -hmm. I correct? Six minutes and six seconds long. It is, it is the song that will never receive airplay unless... Reba or Garth records it. Come on, Reba and Garth, are you seeing this? You really need to do this. This is right up your alley. Yeah, so. <laughs> but it's got it, the reason that it's kind of lengthy is because of the story involved, and it really takes that much time to tell the story. It basically, does. it does. There's nothing. Um, it's a life-changing yeah, situation. There's nothing that can be cut from, yeah. the, from the song or the video. Yeah. I felt so. So I'm looking forward to seeing it for the first time here tonight. You'll see it uh, on American Hearts Radio and TV, and you. So can, you're seeing it for the first time. Yeah. Oh yeah, my, this yeah. will be. So this I'm really awesome. looking forward to this. This is a I great love the look on the faces. Yeah, this is a great um, a great chance for me to see this brand new video. I'm I'm already impressed with a hundred and some thousand views. So. I'm, I'm tickled to death with that. You know, yeah. I, we we have a really strong fan base, and they they love us. And uh, the people who are behind us. I mean, I could sit here and take the whole segment just naming people who get behind us and support uh, Miss Babette. Babette's out there. She's doing stuff for us. Tammy Seeley's out there. Of course, my band members, they're all out there constantly plugging away and, and just garnering views. I mean, we, we've just got, we've got people who are, they're, they're constants. Yeah. They're always there. That's your fan base. They are, yeah. yeah well, they're, they're for amazing. people that want to be part of your fan base, how can they see uh, your work? on uh, the internet, I guess. Uh, MichelleLee.com, and um, my mom was having a little bit of fun the day I was born, I think, so it's uh, L-E-I-G-H. It's, mm -hmm. it's a different kind of spelling of Lee. Right. But uh, MichelleLee.com, and everything uh, everything's there. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, we have a personal page. We have a fan page. Uh, we're also on Reverb Nation, uh, CD Baby. Um, we, you can hear our music on a lot of different mm -hmm. internet radio stations. Mm -hmm. Black Sheep Network is one. Um, Josie Music Awards and uh, the Country Blast Music, oh, um, okay. that's another one. Right. Uh, Florida Country Radio, um, we're playing on that. There's so many Kind of them. all over the place. Yeah, and I feel so bad because I always leave somebody out. Not I don't want to leave people out, but I, I, yeah. you know, it's, there's, I know. there are a lot of them that are playing us, and but now we're gonna, very grateful. You're going to be seen by you know, a whole new yeah, I'm so uh, excited. First group time of in folks. Atlanta, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, you know, via this network, and we're so pleased and proud yeah, to have you. Well, we're tickled. Um, Michelle mentioned to me something earlier that I didn't realize. Uh, she did a show um, some years ago where she sang the music of one of my all-time favorite singers, oh, Patsy <laughs> Cline. So I had to ask her if she would be willing to do a little a cappella version of one of my favorite songs written by, I believe, Willie Nelson. We all yes, remember him. Yes, it was him. written by Willie. Yeah. Yep, yep. Called uh, mm -hmm. Crazy. Would you mind doing that? I'll try. Oh, gosh, you might lose Have at it. Well, let's see. Let's, let's go here. 
Crazy, I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. Ooh. Will that get me out of there? <laughs> I, I got to say, I am recovering from a cold. I'm like coughing everywhere. That so was I'm great. so sorry. No, that was great. Oh, I love it. God. Thank I you for doing that. I should have had my pitch pop there. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Now, how long did that, that show run when you were doing Patsy Cline's um, music? It, it was so much fun. Um, we, uh, I, I was actually in on a substitute basis, so if somebody couldn't make it, or um, you know they were on vacation, this, that, and other. So we, it, I had that uh, little position for several seasons. Wow. Mr. Paul and Delicato it was Carolina Knots out in Maggie Valley. Yeah, if Maggie Valley. Yeah, North if Carolina. anybody's familiar yep. with Maggie yep. Valley, and uh, it was awesome because I got to do, um, I got to do Patsy Cline, of course. I got to do some Andrew Sisters, um, drinking rum and Coca Cola. <laughs> you know things I would never have learned. You know, it was so much fun. Um, but I got to do that for several seasons. In Great, a row. it was great. A, Sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. That oh, was a fun blast. place too, oh, Maggie yeah, Valley. Yeah. Uh, you know what, folks? I, I gave you a little teaser about Michelle's r recent uh, video that came out. So I think uh, if you're ready to sit back and listen to a pro perform and watch a pro perform, we're going to cue that up and play that video. I think we're about ready to go with it. Is that correct? Right. Mr. Engineer, here we go. Blood water in the Natahala River running through the Appalachian Gorge With blood water crimson to cover Watching that shadow too many times The shadow stay
heavy message there. It's pretty intense, yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. It is. But you know what? It's uh, it's 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 real life. It is real life. It is real life. And uh, it's funny how that song came came about. I mean, you know, everybody asks, you know, did that happen to you? No, it didn't happen to me. I had a, an awesome childhood. Mm -hmm. um, I got the title. I was I was at an open mic one night, and this this beautiful lady, Anna Klein, with Grits and Soul, she's up doing this open mic thing, and. She's singing this song, and I'm thinking, man, I wish I'd thought of that before she did. Well, why didn't I think of that title? But so she gets off the stage, and I go up to her, and I'm like, hey, I'm Michelle. It's nice to meet you. You sounded awesome. I wish I had thought of that title before you did. And she said, what, floodwaters? And I was like, oh, you didn't say blood water? And mm. she said, no, I said floodwaters. <laughs> <laughs> so that night in the, uh, in the parking lot of um, McDonald's, <laughs> My weakness. Um, I, I started scribbling out. It just, it just, it was one of those times, um, which is kind of a rarity for me, but one of those times where the floodgates just opened up. The whole song came out. The next morning, I had all of it. It was through. Wow. Finished. So. Well, it's a story about sexual abuse, uh, yeah. and that's pretty prevalent in today's society, as you know. Uh, there's a lot. Of, it's been going on forever and ever and ever. But you know, uh, the victim is has to live with it the rest yeah. of their life, and it's not it's an easy lives, yeah. situation to to have to live with. And um, I uh, just heard heard an interview on the radio today about uh, some women that uh, experience that, and uh, they're older now, but of course the, the memory is still there, and it's hard to deal with. Yeah. But you know, um, uh, what do they say? What's that old saying about life imitates art? Is that it? Yep. Yeah. And uh, I think there's, you know, it's a little, it, it's edgy. I it mean, is, it, ha it has edgy. to be because it's, it's an edgy very subject. Edgy, yeah. But yet, yeah. there's a message there, and there's a story there, and I've got to think that a lot of those 100,000 plus hits or views that you've had on this video so far, I think a, a big percentage of those, just a wild guess, would be people forwarding it to their friends to watch. I, I think so, and uh, I have to tell you, I, you know, I've I've gotten so many messages from people, and I was honestly expecting a little bit of a, a backlash with it, mm -hmm. because it is a pretty violent video. Yeah. But I've gotten so many messages from, from people saying, this happened to me, and this is what my sister and I went through, and thank you for putting that out there. And it, it, it honestly surprised me, but you know, that's the whole purpose of it, is to act as a catharsis. And if it's, if it's, if it's someplace that, um, a victim 
can go and watch and relate to that, that story. helps them yeah, yeah somehow or another that helps them acquiesce not that's that's the wrong word it helps them deal with it however they're choosing to deal with what happened to them um then great then that's then my pur purpose is fulfilled with the whole song mm -hmm. um i'm i'm merely the vessel i'm not anything other than means to get their healing out yeah. to them if that's if that's what happens with the song if that's something that helps them move forward if that you know what even if it gives them a, a little bit of a good feeling knowing that that guy got it in yeah, the end right, he got right. his in the end you know because that a lot was of such times, a bad guy do you know that guy <laughs> Oh my that Lord. guy was, do I ever know that oh my god that guy was a bad dude <laughs> that's my husband y'all <laughs> And I have to tell I knew you that. <laughs> that that is completely against his character. Completely yeah. against his character. He is he is one of the most kind kindest loving men. Well, I've you ever just met tell him I want him in my next oh, Godfather wow. movie, okay? Yeah, everybody they'll, they'll say, oh, I don't want to make Roger mad now. And it's like, oh, I, I gotta this. I gotta tell you, uh, just from an observational standpoint, I was very impressed with the genre, that era, the dress you wore, oh, <laughs> and the location of the filming. Well, I really love that you know rural what? river location kind of thing. The word shoestring budget. Just think of shoestring budget. budget. Shoestring budget. Yes, uh, my, my aunt, uh, extremely <clears throat> talented, uh, my Aunt Reva, made the skirt. Oh, and I okay. actually wore that to an awards show a couple of years back. She Great. made my whole outfit. She also made my wedding dress. She's amazing. Uh, the, the corset my husband had bought for me for Christmas. Um, and the shirt was from Charlotte Russe. I mean, I just kind of pieced it together. <laughs> it um, looked great. The boots he had gotten for me. And I tell my videographer, every single video we've made so far, I've had on the most god-awful uncomfortable shoes. <laughs> the next video, I promise you, I'm going to be barefooted. <laughs> so I can actually stand up. And I want, you know, I'm standing in the mud yeah, or in the yeah, sand and all yeah. those shots. And I'm like teeter-tottering <laughs> back and forth. But uh, the video was actually filmed um, all within... Um, each location was within 20 miles of um, of our house, and the the interior scenes where uh, where the teenage girls and Roger, right. um, the the bad dad, they were having dinner. That's that's actually in our house. The field where where the girl met her, not earned justice. Yeah, you know that's down below our house. I mean that's like we well, look out the front door at, at that every day. Yeah. Well, let, so, let's plug the sheriff to who played the sheriff and the two girls. The sheriff. That is my drummer, Paul Bloom. Okay. Now, Paul works at, uh, he, he does a lot of uh, cowboy stuff at Four Six Gun Territory, and they do a lot of uh, children's functions to raise money. Oh, okay. We well, did a good job, and the girls did a great job. He did a, an amazing job. And those little girls, I can't even tell you, we did not script. We, we just did an open call. It just so happened that the two little girls show, who showed up to play matched the two older girls. Wow. Brianna and Peyton were the two older girls. Okay. Uh, Denver and Savannah were the two younger girls. They were girls. so closely matched. They yeah. looked like we just took right. the, the tiny ones and stretched them into the bigger That's ones. That's what I thought you did. <laughs> It's a surprise so, to me. And tell you how how, uh, how shoestring I was. They, you know, they wore my clothes in the video. Uh -huh. um, you know, of course, Paul had his own own stuff. Uh, the preacher was my bass player. Okay. Doc Dalrymple. Cool. He's he's amazing. And, and his daddy was was a preacher, so okay. you know we, we cast him yeah, just right. Perfectly. Yeah. How long did it take to make the whole video? I believe this or not. Yeah. One day. Wow. One day. Uh, we, I mean, we, we busted it. I mean, we, we broke it up. We had uh, um, one day that we were filming at a certain location, but we only were there, you know, very, very short amount of time. But the next day when we were at our house, it, you know, we stretched it out. You know, it was about, yeah. maybe about eight hours that day. Wow. But a funny story. The first place we started out, it's kind of funny. I don't know if I can even tell this to sure, you. Sure, we like funny so, stories. So this, uh, we, we were, we were uh, borrowing the property, the old house, the old dilapidated house, old barn, from, from this gentleman and uh, his brother, brother-in-law, and they don't get along. It's, it's very much like a Hatfield-McCoy thing. Yeah, they don't get yeah. along, but they, they, they still get along. You know, yeah. if somebody's bothering one, they bother the other, even though mm -hmm. they don't like each other. Mm -hmm. So uh, the brother-in-law, I guess, had went and told some tales on us to the guy who actually owned the property. So he comes up there, and he's all mad at us. 
and he calls the videographer out there and he's talking to him blah 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 and Michael comes back in Michael Spears from Built to Fall I'll give him a shout out for the video because he did a phenomenal job he comes back in there he's like you're not going to believe this and he's like can you go out there and talk to him I was like yeah I went out and talked to him thanked him and everything and um, come back in I was like what was going on and he says he came up there and he said his brother-in-law told him that we were filming bad movies up here. Oh, oh bad movies. <laughs> bad movies. Bad movies. Like bad, and okay. I was like, really? Because it's like November. We're all freezing our rear ends off. There are kids running around here. There's raccoon stuff all over the inside of this house. So oh, it was, it was perfectly hilarious. Yeah. Well, but I, we were not filming bad movies. We were just hanging yeah. people. You got to tell our viewers before we close the show out how they can get a hold of your, uh, uh, your new recording. Oh, the the brand newest one. Woo! This one. Oh, this one. Yeah. Well, you you can grab that. Um, well, that's part of a new album, right? It is. Uh, now our our EP will actually be released uh, sometime in April. It is going to be called Redemption. 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 I like the yes, name already. There's, there's a big story behind that. Maybe next show. Okay. Um, but um, actually, this Thursday I'm going up to finish the last song up in Nashville with uh, with Charlie Kelly, my my co-writer, my producer. We'll mm -hmm. finish that one and. It'll be available sometime in, in um, April, and but uh, the uh, the previous version of Bloodwater is still available on Black Ink, which is okay. out right now on CD Baby, iTunes, uh, my website. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Well, and uh, folks, you can always watch this show again and, and see the video. But you know, we'd like you to buy the album because oh, the lady yeah. needs to make a living. <laughs> But uh, anyway, Michelle, this night has really uh, been uh, phenomenal. Well, thank but you so too, much, much for having me here. Much too short. You know, I wish we could do an hour, but we oh, can't. And I hope I didn't butcher Patsy too bad for no, you. No, no, I'm I, so I, sorry. You, you touched my heart, Lou. I, I am very under the weather, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I promise but, I'll do it uh, much better. Thanks for being my guest, and uh, thank you for uh, really having enjoyed me. having you. And. Uh, Folks, next month we have another uh, show planned, which is going to be a very interesting show, a uh, totally different topic, but very, very interesting. So I hope you'll tune in the fourth Monday of the month, next month in April, to watch our next show, Keeping It Real. In the meantime, uh, take care. Don't get stressed. Keep it real. Mm -hmm.